elevating on my spiritual journey and coming across, you know, the fact and understanding that me as a man, I still have feminine energies within me. It's a beautiful thing. And I had no problems accepting it. And the reason why I had no problems accepting it is because I knew my whole entire life that I had feminine energies within me. My whole entire life, I knew it. But before I get to that point, let me just backtrack a little bit to where I was going. It took a man and a woman to bring you and I into this world, me and you watching this and everyone else in the world. It took a man and a woman to create you. Not one. It didn't just take your dad. It didn't just take your mom. It took your mom and your dad to combine and create you. So as a man, why would I feel some type of way about acknowledging that I have feminine energies in me? My mother created me and my dad created me. So I have the energies from my mother and I have the energies from my father. Not only that, I have the energies from my grandparents, my grandmother, my grandfather, my great grandparents, my grandmother, my grandfather. So there's a lot of feminine energies within me. I have masculine and feminine. It's not just one. And for the woman watching this, and all women, the same thing applies. Feminine, masculine. So the women have masculine energies within them too. Because the woman, you have a dad as well. You see what I'm saying? It's not just your mother that played a role in creating you. It was your dad as well that combined that. So... I never had, you know, when I learned this, I never had a problem accepting this because I knew it all along. I didn't know. I wasn't conscious of it. I wasn't conscious of the fact of why I had feminine energies. I wasn't conscious of it, but I knew I had it. For example, when it comes to animals, I become hella feminine. And I noticed that throughout my entire life. Like if I see a dog or if I see a cat or any animal, I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. Like my voice becomes hella girly. My voice becomes hella girl, or what is it, girly? You know, I feel my heart starting to get soft. Like, animals are one example of, you know, bringing my feminine energies out. Another thing is, like, it was many times in my life, like, let's just say, for example, someone played a prank on me. Like, they were hiding in the dark in the bathroom or something, and then when I came in, they jumped out and scared me. Just an example. There are many times in my life I scream like a girl. Many times in my life, I could recall, I, I just, you know, threw out a girl scream or I released a girl scream. And, you know, some people would say, man, you sound like a bitch. Man, you sound like a bitch. Like, what the? But it's like, nah, I just think that's the feminine energies in me expressing itself. Like, you scared me and it brought the feminine side of me out. That's all I think it is. Now that I look back. Like at the time I didn't understand and for a lot of in a lot of cases I used to try to, you know, suppress it. I used to hide it, just like everybody else. Everybody watching this knows, like every man watching this, you you are aware that you have feminine energies within you. You know that. For my woman, you know that you have masculine energies within you. It's just that we're not comfortable coming out and admitting this or talking about it because of society. You know, me for example, when I say, yo, I notice my feminine energies Growing up in this society, you know, everything is gay to people. Well, to Americans specifically, like, everything is gay. Like, oh, you gay, oh, you a faggot, oh, this and that, this and that. But nah, it's just that I have feminine energies within me. So all of these times I'm, um, you know, reminiscing me screaming like a girl or all the times where I see an animal and it turns my voice hella girly or whatever it may be, just things like that. It's so beautiful to think about it. It's so beautiful to think about it, bro. Like, what is there to be ashamed about? What is there to be sad about? I love women. I always love women my whole entire life. But that doesn't mean I can't embrace my feminine energies. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean you're gay or it doesn't mean, like, you're soft because you embrace your feminine energies as a man and vice versa. As a woman who who embraces their masculine energies. There's nothing wrong with that. It's what you are at the end of the day. So, yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I wasn't, 
I wasn't aware of why I had the feminine energies. I just knew I had it. But when I learned why I have it, I'm like, oh, duh, that makes sense. I have a mother. I have a grandmother. I have a great grandmother. I have a great, great, great grandmother, et cetera. Go on, go on, go on, go on. No wonder why I have a lot of feminine energies in some cases. Now it makes sense. Why would I be ashamed of embracing that? 